this is the Chen Chiu. In this video, I'm going to give a brief demonstration of the use of uh, Osirix plugins exporter and uh, Diacom to Nifty. These two plugins allows you to export Diacom images to Nifty format, and then you can do some offline processing, and then use the plugins to load back the processed images back to Osirix database. And in this particular case, I'm going to show you how to export the DTI dataset to Nifty format and then do edit current correction using um, a tool from FSL and then load the processed image back to Osirix database. So this is the demo data set. I'm going to open it using 4D Viewer. You can go through different slices and different diffusion weighting directions. Uh, you go to plugins, image filters, and exporter. Uh, and then hit save as nifty. Give it a name, DTI. to uh, list all the files in this directory. You can see dti.nii file that has just been created. And if the plugin detects that the dataset looks like a, a DTI dataset, it will generate these two files, dti.bvec, dti.bval. These are the um, B values and uh, gradient, um, gradient encoding directions. Now I want to use the edit current correction tool from FSL. This is the output name and this is the reference. Um, because this takes a while, I have pre processed the, uh, the images and the output will be here it's dti dot uh, underscore ec dot nii and i want to load the images back to the osirix um, uh, database okay you want to open the exporter again and load the nifty file you can see give it a different name and then hit export to database. Mm, this may take a moment. So there's a key um, concept here. So basically what we're doing here, we open a so-called template image and then we load um, a Nifty image to this template image. Then we export the, Im the loaded image to the database. So uh, for this um, plugin to work, the template image have to have the same metric dimensions as the loaded image. So, and by doing this, you basically retain all the DICOM informations from the template image. However, there is one drawback from uh, from this or limitation from this uh, plugin. That is, if you um, say here you you do some offline processing to calculate FA map from this DTI dataset. And because um, the FA map um, it's on, has only one time points in the fourth dimension, you cannot use this plugin to load the images, load the FA map to the Osirix uh, uh, database. And uh, in order to do that, you have to use the other plugin that I'm going to give a demo very shortly after this. So okay, so now the um, exporting has finished. Let's go check that. You can see, um, indeed, the the images, the edit corrected images, are imported to Osirix uh, database. And 
now you can open it using 40 viewer and do and um, typically I will use the DTI map plugin to do to calculate all the uh, images here